This conference will now be recorded. Now watch your background. Are you working? Are you a fresher? So I want to just have a simple quick intro before we start. Sure, got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So myself Madhu, uh, working uh, right now, working in a company called Arakil. I'm into data science okay. background. Okay. I am having data science data science background where I worked on the various tools like Python, SQL, SAS, R programming, Tableau. Okay. Yeah, and some old tools as well. So, and major uh, my background, my expertise into the machine learning, statistics, that area. Okay, fine. Hi. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Madhu. Yeah, hi. Lakshmi. Yeah, yeah, Lakshmi. Hi, sir. So, I am uh, Lakshmi Pavani. I recently completed my master's. So, I'm looking for, I'm preparing for data engineering. I'm looking for data engineering position. Okay, fine. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, fine. Yeah, let's start. I guess people are come joining. I guess will I start in two to three minutes? Hey, Pavan. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey, Pavan. Yeah, I can hear you, Pavan. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, presently, uh, I'm pursuing my master. I'll just complete in two months. It's my last semester. Okay. Okay, I'm cool. currently working as graduate assistant uh, in research in machine learning. I'm doing a Pro, uh, project uh, of fine tuning the OpenAI API. Okay. Cool. And I have experience of one year in TCS. Of okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, fine. Hey, Likit. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Raj. Hey, good morning, Likit. Yeah. Hey, sir, can you introduce yourself before we start? In the meantime, just you are having an introduction part. What was that? I didn't hear you. No, no. In the meantime, before we start, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Likit, and uh, I'm working as a full stack developer for the past eight years and uh, okay from the past two years i've been more involved in the data side you know in my projects so i would like to go full time on this uh, data engineering so that's why i have joined this course okay fine cool let me check yeah. hey bagisri uh, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Then the meantime we start. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Bhagyashri. Uh, I was just looking forward to you know con pursue my career in uh, data engineering, which is why uh, I joined this class. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's all, I guess. I. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks.
the fine okay fine then yeah let's start okay let me know once you see my screen can you can you quickly someone confirm are you able to see my screen yeah, we can we can see the screen yeah yes yeah okay thank you so let me introduce myself congrats i have 10 plus years of experience okay i'm ready so coming to my skill set Instead, I have experience in MSBA, okay, Python, SQL, Azure, Azure Stack, and Big Data and Hadoop, Big Data Technologies, okay. Okay, and Worked on various domains and various projects. Okay. First of all, welcome everyone to the data engineering demo session. Now let's start. Okay. What's data engineering and these things? Okay. So yeah, any freshers here? Because I heard everyone till now, everyone is a guy. Everyone is an experienced guy. Any freshers? Into IT. Hello? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not from IT background. Uh, my name is Pagishri. I'm not from IT background. So. Okay, fine. Yeah. Myself so also. Okay, fine. Yeah, because let me start from very basic level. That's why. Because I see few people are working, guys. So that I can go from very basic level. So, as I said, this course is about data engineering. So going coming to that part. So let me start with very basic things from a, a very pressure level to an experience guy level. I I'll make you to understand what's data engineering and why it's required in the market. Okay. I hope everyone like this word, uh, word data engineering is making a buzz in the market, right? Nowadays. Hello guys, am I correct? You people are yes. doing some lot of lot of buzz on data engineering. So keep a side like Azure, AWS, Google or something. This word you, everyone has heard in the market like uh, from past one year or two years. Am I correct? Data engineering. So this is a, this is making some words in the market, right? So let's uh, let me uh, keep it test right and simple. So why we need to learn data engineering? So what's once you complete the course? So what's you what is the expectation? You will be getting what's the expectation you will be getting it okay so how will be the market trends let me make you clear on that okay so so from my very basic level let me start so agenda for first so what is data types and everything okay so guys what is any you can anyone say what is data anyone either freshers or some experience guys what is data? Hello. It's an information stored. Either it is an, it's an information stored in the form of text or numbers. Okay. Okay. So yeah, data is nothing but collection of raw facts. Anything can be data. It's no, it cannot be an information or something, anything. It can be group of numbers, it can be a text, okay? It can be a mixture of text and numbers. So anything is a data, am I correct? Any piece of object which we infer something, we call it as a data, okay? So collection of raw facts or objects or entities. So anything, some aspect which is represented in the real world, we call it as a data, okay? 
so someone said information information is nothing but whatever the entities we are looking or whatever the raw facts we get when we process it and we make a decision from that we call them as an information the knowledge what we acquired by processing that data we call it as an information okay next so you got a basic idea of what is data and what is information right next my next question so how many types of data have you seen in the market either fresher or any one every day everyone will use it, sir sir everyone is having a basic pc right with you guys everyone has a basic pc right yeah so everyone will be using either your notepad or excel in any of the way any of the means so how many kinds of data you are using every day in your day to day life hello so can i put it like this on the structure your structure semi structure and structure and structure right am i correct so in the market what type of data you deal with okay so the type of data we have in the market are three types structured semi structured and structured such structured data is nothing but your databases semi structured is like your email json data unstructured is nothing but your audio video files your notepad files mixture of data we call it as an unstructured so next my straight away question sir for you everyone so how you used to do, store the data sir in the olden days before computer these things how you want to how you people used to store the data before the invent of form. computers in the, yeah in the paper so storage of data so paper format like your notebooks i could i say any paper notebooks okay so you used to store this data by writing by ourselves like writing in the books or something let's take a small business if you take some a small business like uh, any like let's take a small business like a milk vendor business okay so a milk vendor guy how he used to so what are the milk you purchase from him he used to write it on his book so for monthly how much you have been purchased from him how many liters of milk you have been purchased from him am i correct is it the is it from a cow milk or buffalo something okay so he used to write in the book and at the end of the month he used to do the calculation he used to lend money from us am i correct for what is the service he provided for us in the earlier days we used to write in the form of books paper next after this so when computers were introduced in the market we used to store it this this okay disk are more like your floppies am i correct earlier in the market vcds so your data used to store like this next now once in the market once computer was introduced there is like your data we used to store in floppies vcds and then your notepad files in the within the system in the hard disk i'm saying notepad excel when this came into the market so instead of this replacing of instead of this book paper we calculating we got notepad excel these things right am i correct so whatever data we are storing in your system it was categorized into three types as i said one is structured semi structured and structured so let's see what is this categorization of data structured if you see when coming to structured data okay your databases keep this word in the mind now for some time so we'll discuss on what is this database part okay so structured data is nothing but we store in the form of databases or some di- some storage device and coming to semi structured data like xml json we call it as in semi structured data and unstructured your audio video files your pics everything comes under your notepad files comes under unstructured data okay so structured data is represented of rows and columns also called as relational data if your data has some relation 
and which is understood which you can understand okay which is in the form of rows and columns we call it as a structured data so here we have a predefined data model so how you need to store the data so what is a row what is a column everything is predefined for your classic example is like your spreadsheet csv files traditional databases like your oracle mysql postgres etc okay next coming to the semi structured data data stored in your files have some degree of organizational structure so what are the data you get it okay so if you have some relation not completely to some extent if you have some relation some degree of organizational structure we call it as a semi structured so here in the semi structured data you have hierarchy that means so what is the first part what is the second part you have hierarchy okay and by, but the size of elements can vary and their order is not important so coming to your semi structured you have a json and xml so let me so show you how your json looks like simple example of a json so if you see anything within a flower brackets and which has a key value pair let's let's take something id let's take an our organization okay so organization name organization career id okay and which is in the form of key value pair some organized format we call it as a semi structure one of the example of your semi structure is json format which is widely used in the market okay so next next we have an, uh, something called unstructured data coming to next part unstructured is which is not a row based or which doesn't have a predefined data model or relationship between the data so it it is organized in an unorganized it is organized like it is written in an unorganized fashion so first line you may have a number second line you have some characters third line mixture of numbers and characters or your audio video files your images this we categorize as an unstructured data okay guys hope i am clear right till now hello yes 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 hope i am clear right next yes, i said yes. a word next i said right database okay what is a database so this is the widely used word term in the market right you may say like uh, databases 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 am i correct keep it this json structure these things every people had heard about our database right in the market so what is a database okay database is nothing but collection of structured information or data stored electronically in a computer system okay database usually controlled by your system, a software called database management system okay so that together we call database and dbms software application or we refer as in database system okay so short and we say as a database so what is database what are the structured data we are having in the day to day world which has rows and columns which has a definite relationship between them so we store it in a database okay typical examples of your database So as I said, next term, database. Sir, is so, DBMS, is DBMS and uh, relational database both are same? Well, whatever the data you are storing in the database, it should be organized, right? So DBMS is a software in the database which organizes this data in the back end, okay? Database management system. So whatever the structured data you want to store in the form of rows and columns. So how it should be stored and where it should be stored, how it should be defined, everything will be taken care by a software internally in the database. We call them as a database management system. Okay. So whatever the structured data you are getting, if you want to store. Want to store. We have a database system. database system okay are you getting it right so which is in your form of rows and columns 
okay so any any information which has a definite relationship so which we can be inferred the information very easily so we store it as a relational system so database is nothing but a relational system so which has a definite relationship between the what are the information you are, you are getting it okay second point types of databases available in the market one is relational one is non relational databases okay relational databases coming to your traditional your oracle your sql server and coming to your no sql databases sir so everyone had heard a word like mango db in the market am i correct hello cassandra cassandra am i correct so you people has not worked on nothing but you have heard this word right in the market MongoDB, Cassandra, am I correct? So, coming. So, what, what these things like? So, what here, what in your relational database has a definite schema, definite structure, but in your NoSQL systems, which doesn't have a definite structure. So, whenever a new column or new new data type came into the visit, it should be a, added by itself. Okay, it should be aligned by itself. Okay, so. No SQL database is nothing but your data doesn't have any sequence. How it should be defined? Here, when coming to your relational systems, relational systems, you have a sequence. How you define your data? Okay. That is about your database. So database just gave you one is an organized collection of structured data. So there is a software which manages how to organize your data internally. That we call it as a database management system. Okay. Next. So before going to big data, something this stuff. So let me take a small lemon example. Okay. Sir, you are you people are living in different cities, right? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Amar. Yes. So you, you people, everyone are living from are from different places of the world. Okay. Suppose, sir, in a city which you are living, there is not there is no drainage system. Let's take a very small basic example. So you are in a city where you have a very rains, like very you have very huge amount of rains. Your system doesn't have a proper proper uh, drainage or sewage system. So what happens, sir? When you when uh, when you when there is a huge shower in your city, obviously there is a flood, right? Hello. When there is no proper organization of the drainage or something, so how the water should flow? Or like let like, let's take a reservoir, sir. Okay, so you constructed a reservoir of capacity, so which can store around some some these many TMCs. Let's take two TMCs, but there is a huge flood. Okay, you people doesn't know like, but your your uh, system upstream system like your river, river which is flowing through that reservoir, there is a huge flood of some 50 to 60 TMCs. What will happen, sir? If you doesn't organize this uh, data, doesn't organize this water in a very like there will be a flood right obviously so what so when your reservoir gets a flood more than its capacity there is a huge damage right am i correct hello yes. guys same way when there is a huge flood or something in the to a, any reservoir or something okay so its capacity is around to, to a tmc or something but there is a huge flood of 5 tmc so can we hold that uh, 3 TMC of water in the reservoir? No, right? First point, which is unuseful. Am I correct? Hello? And whatever the water you are getting, 3 TMC, this may cause damage to the reservoir. Am I correct? Hello? Yeah, it getting will cause it, right? damage. Yeah. It will cause the damage to the life. So people who is around the reservoir, and it may cause damage to the reservoir as well. Am I correct? Am I correct, sir? Everyone. So, if you doesn't uh, have a uh, proper organization of it, so same way. Now, let's uh, sync this example to your data. So, I have written a word here called big data, right? If you observe my screen. So, say, same way, our traditional systems. Okay, as I said, your traditional databases are your Excel. Excel, sir. Your Excel is a, an Excel, right? 
sir how much amount of data you can store in excel one sheet sir can someone say let's one million record 10 lakh rows yeah 10 lakh 10 lakh rows and 16000 16 lakh columns am i correct 16000 columns i guess am i correct so what yes. if what if if i have a 12 lakh record like 2 million rows sir and 18000 columns can i accommodate this in my excel yeah. so whatever the data you are getting so whatever that uh, as i said you have around some 2 lakh records the first 1 lakh records you doesn't have any necessary information second 1 lakh only you need it can you accommodate it you have res- you have lost your uh, important information right there what do you need to acquire from it am i correct and same way if you have some see as i said it takes around 16000 columns if you have the exact information as some you have 20000 columns and last 4000 columns are important or the columns between the in the 20000 which are in the middle are important so you lost some important piece of information right so whatever the traditional systems you have your databases okay these are fixed in size probably traditional databases okay traditional systems or what are the systems are rule in the market okay problems with your traditional systems what is what are the problems sir so these are fixed in size am i correct so database can handle how much amount of data how much amount ma'am based on your requirement madam so if you create a database which can store 10 gb so it can handle around 10 gb only if you got it 12 gb or 13 gb it won't handle madam okay so while creating how much you, how much you are going to purchase your database from the market size of the data it depends on the size okay so there is a database which can handle 1000 gb also so how much you purchase based on your application and expectation okay so it's fixed in size once you created a database in the i am saying in the legacy system not in cloud okay just keep this word so what are so let's take a simple example madam you purchased a system of 1 tb hard disk okay maximum amount how can how much you can store madam 1 tb so if you have another 1 tb of data where you will be placing it okay. same way so your database what you are purchasing so i purchased a database which can accommodate 100 gb if i got it more than 100 gb data where can i accommodate it can i increase your hard disk immediately it takes something it takes some processor right yes so in the in the system also if you want to increase your hard disk to 2 tb you need to purchase again a new hard disk am i correct or you need to interconnect this hard disk to that some process should be followed right am i correct suddenly let's take as i said my reservoir example suddenly my reservoir capacity is 2 tmc if i got a flood of 5 tmc so i can handle it for the next time when i have proper organization but i don't know when it comes right am i correct yes so that is the problem with your traditional database systems you have a data when it's in your limitation it's fine you can handle it but when you are getting a data which is beyond that it's a tedious task for everyone am i correct so first point size of data so now here comes the some term in the market make made some buzz in the market in the earlier days like before 10 years okay that is big data so every people had heard it word big data right hello yes yeah everyone like in the at least everyone has not worked or something just heard a word right big data in the market when you enter our course or something people say right uh, big data so in the traditional system first thing is fixed length and cannot handle data beyond the limit first point then people thought in the market we need some systems which can scale out by itself so scaling came into the market scaling is nothing but increase the increase of the size by itself increase of size okay of a system by itself so what this scaling is 
We have two types of scaling. One is horizontal. One is vertical. So, what is your horizontal scaling? Okay. So, so I need to add a database whenever the data size has been increased. Okay, immediately. So I have one. I have. I need to have a system. I have. Like let's think like this is one database. This is one that. This is a database. Okay. So whenever the system. So this is my initial database. Okay. Whenever my data size increases. Okay. Input. So I need to store it in a secondary place. Okay. So it should scale by itself. Sizes. Adding more databases. That we call it as a horizontal scaling. So what is big data here is means. Next. So big data is nothing but data very too complex in size, okay, and which is in huge size, okay, too complex and which is very large data size. So which your traditional data system cannot be dealt with that, okay. Traditional data processing system cannot handle it. So when there is a data, your as I said, your traditional system stores your data either in rows and columns. First point, okay. Second point, either as I said, your JSON. So for JSON, we have like as I said, your MongoDB, Cassandra, NoSQL databases. Fine, you can handle it. But these are of fixed sizes. But when I am getting a data, mixture of data, okay. When when I am getting a data, getting a mixture of data. First point, first challenge. Okay, so. So we have two systems available in the market. One for traditional system, traditional database or SQL, okay, relational database for rows and columns. Fine. Same way, when you have a when your data doesn't have a specific uh, size and shape, you have a NoSQL system. Okay, I can keep it like this. When there is a JSON or semi structured, but when I have an unstructured data, so which system will solve this problem, madam? Unstructured is nothing but mixture. If I get a data with definite relationship, I can store it in my traditional SQL, like your, as I said, SQL data, relational database. When there is no relation, no SQL is there. But when there is a mixture of data coming, what system you need to use? First point, when data is unstructured. Second point. Okay, data size, volume of data, data volume is huge. Beyond the capacity. So people thought we needed some sophisticated systems, okay, to handle this data, complexity of the data and size of the data. They introduced something called Hadoop into the market. So Hadoop systems, how are your Hadoop systems, okay? So Hadoop systems are like this: group of machines, group of machines, which has nodes to store the data, and which can expand, scale itself instead of expand, which can scale out when there is a data size increase. There is data size increase. Okay, and whatever data you are getting to process for information, so this data will be processed on these nodes. So all these group of nodes act as a single machine. So your problem has been solved. But what your Hadoop uses two types of techniques. One is map edges. So what here? Uh, uh, with map ranges, map ranges is nothing but one stage after other stage processing your data. What our data you stored it here, it will process in one after the other stages. Okay, so there are some drawbacks with Hadoop system. Then, so before going to Hadoop, let's go to our big data definition. See, as I said, big data is like too too large data size, maybe or too large or complex to dealt with your traditional system. So there are some five ways of data. Okay, one is 
what are the five is of big data okay let's see those to work on one is volume of data the data size velocity so the speed at which i am saying the reservoir example sir the speed at which your water is coming so it may damage the other other uh, surrounding system as well as the reservoir am i correct the velocity and variety so how your water is coming the variety if you if you combine with that example the structure how it is coming velocity and value see veracity whatever the data we are getting it how reliable it is how trustful it is okay for validation and verification and value so whatever data you are getting is, is it useful or not so these things constitute to your big data so size of the data volume volume or size same velocity veracity value and variety so for this thing to handle this thing you got it something into the market called hadoop group of machines acting as a single machine handling the data data distributed across the machines okay in the form of partition so your problem solved but when variety of data increase so whatever data you are getting in your hard disk you have something like your uh, what sir hello your structured data size of the data may be increased or semi structured data when there is a mixture of data so here comes the people thought of this system could not handle the data what we are getting hadoop also but we need some sophisticated systems then came into the market called data engineering okay now going to data engineering let me ask you some questions data engineering part so in the hadoop as i said we have a group of machines which can handle the data and process the data and we it uses a technique called map reduce the hadoop is using a technique called map reduce okay so map reduce is nothing but one stage after other stage processing your data stage by stage okay fine hello hello guys i am audible right yes yes so map reduce came into the picture into the market sir okay now before going to our data engineering part so you got some idea about data and these things right how this has been evolved into the market now so as as we taken some reservoir example okay so as i said your group of machines handling this so if you have an sub reservoir sir same way like your hadoop sub reservoir i can uh, so i can uh, divert some volume of water to sir, there right am i correct sir so this is my main reservoir when i'm getting uh, this capacity is 2 tmc when i'm getting other tmc i have a sub reservoir i can divert one reser one tmc to here one tmc to here right same way your hadoop also acts the same thing sir okay whenever you get a data so all the group of reservoirs act as a single system and this will handle your data but what happened unfortunately you, this data what you are getting it's in the form of batches so it's a, we are happy to handle this but when there is mixture of data streaming data okay so your audio video files so how to handle that so here comes the big problem sir in the market okay that's why people started something called data sir let me ask you a question sir everyone using mobile phone right hello yes so how many apps are in your mobile phone probably hello? 30 so no how many amount of how many apps on an average every guy uses 25 apps right every day your facebook your insta something your ad operator if you want to reduce some dark your whatsapp am i correct everyone so minimum of 20 to 25 apps you will be using it right every day am i correct sir yeah every day in your day to day life for your ordering your uh, flipkart your amazon or any kind, any kind of app so one guy let's take how many population in the world sir what is the population of the world sir so let's take some application sir or like let's take an any organization or something one guy uses one op app 1 mb of data every day so how much amount of data is data sir in the market hello getting point right sir so you you single guy using 25 apps 1 mb 1 mb of data for each app 
for one day 25 mb for one person so if you same way so everyone uses the mobile phone same one mb how much amount of data in one day sir for each application either it can be your facebook your twitter your insta or your anything how much amount of data sir in the market hello getting my point right when your old has become digitalized everything in your hands are your apps so then here comes the term called data engineering this now this may word make buzz in the market okay what is data engineering so one guy one mb of data with 25 apps 25 every day so each application how much data sir if you take at each individual application level how much of data sir for each application for your whatsapp well, it can be 1 billion users into 25 1 mb how, how much sir data every day and mixture of data am i correct your audio video files am i correct your voice notes your text messages mixture of data right hello yes. whatever you are using in your whatsapp so here comes the word into the market to making a buzz called data engineering okay people thought we have a mixture of data and we need some sophisticated people to handle this huge amount of data with this concept data engineering evolved into the market so data engineering is a new name coined recently sir but data engineering is earlier also as i said your msbi tools msbi so legacy system data engineering so fixed size of data mixture of data handling with your legacy systems okay but when there is a wide range of scope and wide variety of size of data wide variety of data so people thought of some sophisticated guys that's why your data engineering emerged into the market okay so let's go into our concept now called data engineering so let me show you some facts social media 60 billion messages a day whatsapp 40 thousand for search queries per second 35 minutes on facebook a day 500 millions of tweets so this much of data who will handle sir okay and your data growth exponentially increasing year by year apps so my question who can order the data in a proper who can order this data in a proper order who can design a system to handle this data who can develop a working system to capture this data so here comes the role of data engineers okay so why data is important so before organizing so once you organize and then why this is important this data is useful for decision making so whatever data you organized and everything useful for decision making to know your customer preference so that organization can improve business getting right information from business by analyzing data we can optimize our system more data more analysis more results and more profits data is efficient in improving and business value so this is why data engineering came into the picture in the market and making lot of buzz okay so if you see if you search google it in your data you will get many definitions but data engineering is nothing but okay develops and maintains the software systems that process as i said to organize your data handle your data and develop a system which captures this data okay data engineering is nothing but a, a typically a data in the develops and maintain a software systems that can process based on the organizational requirements so how to handle your data how to design your system to capture this data as i said three questions and who can design this system so that is a person called data engineer no standard definition but it may vary from individual organization depends on the agenda so data engineering is nothing but three things first one data engineering now come to our concept so data engineering is nothing but getting your data from different systems Sir, let's take a small example. Sir, how can you log in into Facebook, sir? Either from user ID password. Am I correct? Hello? Yes. Hello, guys. So, you yes, people are yes. logging into your Facebook. You people are log using everyday Facebook, right? With your user ID password. 
or how can you log in sir otherwise second way your google yes am i correct your google id email id so who is providing this email id to facebook sir for other than so hello hello guys who is providing this your email id your email, google email id to facebook sir so from google right google database only from google database only right so what are the email you created when they say login with your google option so this data be being extracted from to facebook from google right so here comes here let's narrate let's collate with our data engineering see getting data from different systems if i want to use my facebook if i want to use my google authentication i want my person who is in the back end should authenticate using google right some validations and something what are the google sends the data okay that should be validated in the facebook and given you an access right so getting data from your different systems first point as a data engineer okay so what data engineering means getting data from different systems second point organizing your data how it is getting how your data been how you are getting your data and how you are organizing it okay so next how you are processing it fine getting it right see we need dedication or dedicated professionals to handle the large amount of data organize your data okay so who is a data engineer a data engineer is nothing but an it worker whose primary job is to prepare data for analytics so what are your data getting next point once you process how you analyze this data for your business analysis how you analyze your data for your business okay analysis of your data and for operational uses for your smooth operation of your application or your or your business operational uses this is for your internal internal analysis this is for how you operate how you make your system better using this data okay so this is what came into this is why data engineering came into the market okay why the word data engineering data engineering data engineering we need sophisticated people in the market who can organize this data in a proper way okay first point who can handle this large amount of data mixture of data and segregate this data okay second point and who can build a complex system to handle my data in a systematic way so for these things every organized for so that my data what i acquired useful for useful for my business okay what are the data i acquired today how can i use it for my business with all these questions we got something called into the market got data engineering okay so as i said data engineering is an it worker whose primary job is to prepare data analytics for operation uses so he typically designs your system data engineer is the person he organizes your data first point he de he designs a system for uh, data management what your how your what amount of data your system is being uh, dumping into the from the market okay and how your data been used for improvement of your business okay and how how can my make my system better with all these questions data engineering came into the market got it so coming to roles so there is no specific role because a person he only designs the system other guy will only work on the like uh, work on getting the data so there is no specific role so built a data architecture and build etl pipelines now what is etl here the main key role the main key work of a data engineer is etl or elt so what is etl and what is elt sir anyone had heard about this word etl ETL is nothing but extract your data, getting your data, okay? Extract, transform, load, okay? Or ELT, extract, load, transform, then transform. So 
this extra glow transform and like or elt both the concept were were there on your legacy systems as well okay on your on premise earlier systems traditional systems but when there is a mixture of data and size of huge amount of data how you extract it how you load it how you transform it that is the big challenge okay so for this challenges to overcome these challenges people introduced a person word in the market called data engineering a person who can handle these challenges okay who can design a sophisticated system which can handle these challenges getting it right guys hello hello yes everyone getting it right so with the, with the huge amount of data increase size in the data increase huge amount of your technology increase okay so we need like combinations and permutations on data to better your business so you need a some some guy who can handle this data that guy is a data engineer so building the hetero extracting data from heterogeneous data sources as i said google is a different system facebook is a different system so if a guy in the facebook if i want to give authentication to a guy like a user like you you want to get the data from google right so i don't know how it stored in the google am i correct your email id and password am i correct when you go for google authentication that is in the back end handled by your by whom sir that is handled by in the market by whom sir hello data engineer data engineer sir okay this is the this is this here comes the role of a data engineer so you will be using various tools and technologies okay to transform this data you will be using various tools for getting this data once you design an architecture so how you want to get the data you need some specific tools right so as a data engineer you will be using some specific tools which are available in the market and finally sir for any system you need security right developing and maintaining the secure system by employing encryption techniques so whatever data you have sir it should be in an it should not be hacked right so you need to provide some security for that so for that avail some security available mechanisms available in the market so a person with all these skills we call him as a data engineer okay who answers the questions how to handle how to design a system how can I, so what's the data we are getting how which is helpful for uh, betterment of my business and how can i handle my organize my system smoothly all these questions who will answer he is a guy called data engineer that's it so various positions in your uh, organization coming uh, for a data engineer data architects data engineers and database administrators dbs you have heard out this word giving your access to the system okay taking backups what are data you have so this guy we call it as a dba data in there is nothing but person who writes the code here what are the system designed by an architect okay so complex system design how you use those tools and design, write the code and how you create a pipeline so organize this data that guy is a data engineer and architect is nothing but a person obviously who designed the system okay fine next sir someone said data science sir what is the difference between a data engineer and data scientist here sir so what are the data you are getting who organizes this data and is a data engineer for uh, and the what are data organized by data engineer which uses for further processing that guy is nothing but a data scientist for your business business continuity processing or sir i say i heard someone like working on that machine learning that and some other stacks you answer this question sir hello 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 guys yes hello yes sir. someone said yes. someone said like i am working on uh, data yeah, sec, data science stack right two people yeah it's sir you answer this question sir who supplies you data sir so you people uh, who want to be organizing your data right you people will be just running your algorithms you people will be using the data what given by your organization but you need a someone right to provide this data in a how you want to use it that guy is a data engineer so okay so then you will be processing your algorithms and you will uh, you will answer the business questions so how will my business and the predict analysis you people will be doing it right how how you predict your business in the next past next 5 years or next 1 year so what can the new things i can add to my business marketing strategies so data scientist for a data scientist or reporting guy 
if you want to report or for a data analyst if they want to analyze the data there should be a data is there to provide the data that is the thing why this data engineering is making buzz in the market next coming to top some top job trends so data engineering is growing sir 50 percent if you see the stats year by year growth data engineer is the growing technology sir because every organization has a data everyone need to store it in a secured way and everyone has to analyze their data so they every so obviously any organization needs a data engineer so one guy can't handle all the things right so there should be many data engineers. so recent stack for one data scientist at least eight data engineers were needed to process some business or your machine learning or something any kind of data recent stacks sir. for one data scientist eight data engineers are required in the market okay getting it right now let's see data life cycle how your data life cycle will be so as i said how your typically data in the life cycle will be here like this in just getting data from different sources explore it prepare it organize it finally store it then your machine learning or data scientist bi plus reporting data analyst real time analytics this will come into the picture this is how your data life cycle will be for a data in the typical data life cycle for a data engineer so next so here as i said we use sophisticated tools right here see this is one tool so just keep the names in the mind for now remember the names different sources typical tools tools to get the data explore it work on it prepare process the data organize it finally place it okay so this is for typically for a azure data engineer okay not for i am saying this tool this data life cycle is for azure data in their specific i designed it okay finally so learning uh, learning outcomes sir so what are the opportunities in the market freshers can learn it career switch towards high paying skill non technical to technical person who want to change it and who has good knowledge on analytics and computer engineering can learn this one so after completion what you will be gaining hand gaining experience on you will be gaining experience on sql python how to create your data in system data warehouse systems etl pipelines knowledge on cloud services okay ready to st switch into your it so you call it yourself as a data in there after this course okay so why should we learn as i said till now data is all about scaling and the dealing of data so growing technology emerging technology in the market any questions hello so how long this course sir how long sir i will come into that part okay hmm. so today we discussed only about data engineering sir okay today's only demo is on data engineer what is data what is data engineering okay i have not gone into something called cloud till so you will are learning azure data engineering right what is this azure okay i have not gone into that what okay i just had a demo on data engineering today what a data engineering does typically okay now next thing is cloud azure data engineering right azure what is an azure so data engineering as i said is in every cloud okay you have your azure okay you have your aws amazon you have your google so these are all the clouds which are offering data engineering data engineering in the market okay so azure data engineering is nothing but a service azure is a service from microsoft so you as a data engineer work in the microsoft azure service that's it so what is azure these things in the next class we will discuss sir cloud okay what is cloud what is azure okay these things in the next demo and sir now your questions how long the course is 50 hours madam okay hello yes sir okay 50 hours tools what you gonna learn okay what you gonna learn in the course as a data engineer so keep it as your aside okay what you gonna learn learn and what are the free requisites coming to free requisites to this course first one basics of sql second one 
very basics of Python. Okay, you don't need any oops concept. The web strapping these things. Very basics of Python. Third most important thing, logical thing. If you don't know these two, also no problem, madam. If you if you think good, because logical thing. Okay, how you apply your thought on the data? That's it. If you if you don't need, we can learn it. If you have some good thinking, that's happy. You can definitely you can learn the course. Okay, you can become your data engineer. So what we gonna learn this course as a part of HU data engineering. Coming to course content. Okay, so content has been I guess it will be shared by your coordinator. So what we gonna learn first one storages. Different types of storage available in the market for your data. Second one, tools to extract your data. We have a tool for Azure ADF. Okay. In Azure, for Amazon, it is AWS Glue. If you are if you are in Amazon data is there, AWS Glue. Third one for data processing. Again, we have a ADF. Here we have a concept called data flows. And we have something called data bricks. Fourth one, Synapse Analytics. Okay, Synapse. This is a data warehouse, dedicated SQL pool. SQL pool to store large amount of data. Data. Dedicated SQL pool. And with that, you are learning logic apps. What are logic apps? Okay. It's your key vault for storing your secrets. Vaults. Okay. Dedicate right and as a part of Synapse, we have something here also called Synapse Analytics. Micro Synapse Analytics. Okay. Analytics. Dedicated service. Dedicated or integrated environment. Environment, sir. Okay, dedicated or integrated environment mixture of your data engineering tools. What we learned, okay, ADF, ADB, everything mixed in one environment. Microsoft introduced recently Synapse Analytics. So, basics of that because if you are good, everything you can apply same thing. Just if it's an integrated environment, you will be using the same thing again here. Fine, and finally, we are introducing basics of Snowflake sir, from this. Recently, okay. So people are asking in the market basics of Snowflake. Snowflake, okay. What is Snowflake? How to compare data in Snowflake? So you will be learning these things, okay. Any doubts? And sources, what we are using? We will be using one source as SQL Server. If you are someone good at Oracle, they can use Oracle to store your data. Second thing, third one, dedicated SQL pool data warehouse and Snowflake as a data warehouse, Amazon S3. Okay, and some internal Azure services, file systems, and these things. Okay, so this is coming to your course content. So let me give you a walkthrough on course content part. Okay. So, from next sessions, introduction to Azure data, OLTP, ETL, these things. What are these things? Next, storage accounts. So, SQL, non SQL. So, as I said, relational or non relational. Next, data factory, as I said, logic apps. And here for streaming data, we have Azure Event Hubs and Synapse Analytics. So, we'll be covering. What, how to get data from different sources like a, what is Azure Event Hub and these things. Next, data bricks for your data processing. So, this is data bricks, and finally, one project. So, okay, end to end project. 
so these things we gonna cover sir now come on sir your doubts everyone hello can i know the difference between the data analyst and data engineer so data engineer is a person who typically organizes your data sir analyst is the guy uses your uh, reporting systems to report analyze your data and report your data so for your business so so the data engineer is nothing but we are, uh, it's like pre processing the data so the etl sir whatever the etl we are applying so you people have heard about the word etl right extract and so what are we applying yeah. in your on premise in the in your traditional data systems same thing we are applying on your cloud system okay with wide variety of tools and wide variety as i said mixture of your apps so if you take facebook different type of data right earlier it is through individual earlier only one message whatsapp no pics nothing am i correct i can handle it easily now mixture how can i handle it these things and do we hey. cover the azure usage also in this course what sir uh, usage of azure like many you of them means... don't know yes sir next class as i said you are yeah next okay. class what is cloud computing what are azure services okay basics of azure okay so as part of this course one advantage sir for you guys so python basic videos you will get and sql basic videos you will get sir okay yes. so we'll giving we'll give, i'll give you some five so core python things so which is necessary as a core python okay for data engineering and sql as i said your sql who are very new to the market who want to learn sql sql videos also will be provided okay so i will teach the concept there and then but what are necessary so to in the market we are providing as an additional benefits here sql videos and recently we people are asking snowflake so we introduced snowflake basics to have an uh, idea because uh, many people got came back with like uh, with they are expecting snowflake basics as well in the market okay okay thank you so these are the things so snowflake things these things will give it so you can go through those things and coming to job trends as i said you can google it because you people get more insight than me if i say something it's like uh, so you can google it the job trends on data engineering and next point so yeah coming to persons who want to switch the career career switch to data engineering so you can crack your entry after the course okay second thing entry question sir 100 plus 100 plus entry questions covered okay and so we cover 100 plus entry questions and we you can switch your career and you can work your yourself sir whatever you feel and whatever we teach here you can you can work by yourself okay three months you can work by yourself sir okay so you can survive suppose a guy switching newly into the career they can work without any fear three months after that i don't know what scenarios you get in your market so for three months you can survive in your job directly say person new guy from non id to it if you are they are going to switch into data engineering so without fear they can work sir so after that you need to handle and how your system will you need to understand the internal system but three months what we teach here it's fine for initial three months without any struggle okay so what technology. level of expertise do we get like how many years of experience we can expect sir sir you can expect month. here around to to till 2.5 years sir whatever we teach okay after that i could not assure you because it depend on your project your your level of understanding these things sir whatever we teach here you can give straight away 2 plus experience 
So earlier batches, many people they kept to where they cracked their jobs. Earlier batches, guys. Sir, Hadoop and Hive also covered, sir. Yes, no, no, madam. Hadoop and Hive. Because that is outdated. We, we need. So, but what is basics as introduction when we are saying data bricks, we will say. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Raj, how long have you been teaching in career IT? I have been teaching from past five years, sir. Okay, thank you. And you said the course is 50 hours, right? So that's 50 hours. Uh, I mean, uh, how I mean, like how many days? Like, is it sixty days, two months, or? It's around like uh, you based on your thing, sir. Like people will will ask like uh, keep to take two hours a day. Someone will ask like one hour. So based on that, uh, it will be in one month or for forty five days, sir. Okay. Because uh, on weekends or something, I will be taking two hours kind of classes. Okay. Okay. So yeah, thanks. Um, so, will the class be detailed or is it summarized? Uh... We have man, 80 percent practical, 20 percent theory, madam. Today, this is the introduction, right? I am saying theory. Ah, uh, yeah. And going to the... This time, asking, will you be going topic by topic or in detail or like just the things which we needed for the job? That's it. So I'll go every topic, madam. Okay, topic by topic and connecting to project. So everything what I teach from tomorrow, like if you join. Everything will be in project oriented. So when you enter uh, the market, what, ex what you are expected to do in your project. Okay, and one more thing which I didn't understand is like whatever you will be teaching here will be only be used for three months. Yes, madam, because uh, what are the basics you, you every, every guy see is 10 years or 20 years when you enter the market, what are we teach? Okay, for the first three months, they will be working on the same thing what we teach. After that, uh, different challenges, different things. You need to apply that. But we'll get the subject, you. right? Like how yeah, subject, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, madam. For three months, without fear, you will work. If something, a new challenge comes, you need to apply what you learn. I could not assure you, like, you will get only this scenario, right? So what we learn is basically depending upon what you're teaching now. Later we'll be learning that, right? So that's it. We'll know. Yeah, we'll... later, yeah. later you'll be applying multiple things, madam. I don't, I, okay. I could not assure you or any, anyone could not assure you like what your project will have, right? Suppose you, today I, I taught Snowflake, we introduced it. Tomorrow new technology comes out of three months. Okay. Integration, new integration to this. You you will be coming, you have not teach me, I could not say, right? <laughs> that's your organization specific, right? That's what I am saying. Okay. Uh, yeah. so, so within the, the three months once you, yeah within the three months what you enter so you need to get hands on on your system right it's uh, it's more three months is enough for anyone who enters software if you work for right so or like thing that. here which we need right now is to know how uh, you know things work or how things will go in place in this subject or in this you know coaching like uh, you know data yes, yes, yeah so how yeah, the what we are uh, that's what we are looking for there yeah how how is data engineering gonna work in the market then yeah. once your organization, so what are you learned here and how they applied there, you need to learn that, okay? Yeah, okay. So in your project, how they applied? Yeah. So what are the services you are learning here? You need to understand that there and that's what it takes three months for any guy to, once they enter the market, to understand the internal system. So like you don't be in any fear, right? Like yeah, when you're good at basics, you don't be any fear like, yeah, I can work on things. Any complex system, okay? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And one more thing, uh, you said like uh, we will be using tools uh, for this, right? So we, do we get yeah. access to that during this course? Tools you can create free accounts for them, okay? Yeah. Free, you can create. I hear, I know, but so. for the rest. Rest means, sir, I did not get your question. I mean, uh, so in Azure also, there will be like limited uh, time and limited amount we can use it, right? So that's what I mean. 30 days free trial, sir, for uh, for the new user, yeah. 30 days free trial, $14,000, that's enough to practice, sir. Yes, I know. Yeah, just I'm asking that, will it be sufficient? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is sir, more than enough, sir. Okay, thank you. Any other doubts, guys, before we wind up? Nothing from me. What?
Oh, there's Sir, nothing for me. Yeah, okay. So yeah, next session like we start like on uh, what is cloud computing, what is Azure and what now. Next concept is what is Azure data engineering, okay? So uh, today yeah. I just want to cover yeah, cover yeah. what is data engineering. What sir? Yeah, here uh, we have a multiple uh, types of data transformation like in the informatica, same kind of transformations will you apply in the Python? Yeah, PySpark sir. Here we use something called PySpark. So same uh, informatical task movement, right, and joinings. Uh, task yeah, the work. same thing, sir. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. same kind of informatica, sir. Okay. Yeah, CD type one, two, threes, everything. You, you yeah, sir, CD one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, so, price for and yeah, and uh, data factory. Yeah. So in data factory. Everything is the uh, data is pushing into final target da da database like Snowflake, right? Here or we uh, other data. Yeah, Snowflake. We have a snowflake, sir. We introduced recently how to connect to push to snowflake, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, earlier we have something like a synapse, Azure synapse, dedicated SQL pool, Azure database. Azure okay. database is basically. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I, I'm sorry, I missed earlier. Can you let me know what all the topics will be covered here apart from Python and data? data. So yeah, as, as I said, like your basics of Snowflake, we introduced it recently. Okay. And Python, core Python, you will get videos. Okay, videos. Uh, oh no, I mean, you will you be training us on, uh, basing on the videos or you'll just be giving us the videos to check out? For, for reference purpose, I'll give, sir. Uh, give madam, okay? So what are the concepts we are using in the core Python? I will explain the class. So what is necessary for data engineering? So, but I could not teach like what is a variable and these things, right? So because Python. you know people who are coming from a different background, obviously they wouldn't be knowing all these things. So for that, I'm asking. So here in classes we cover, madam, what is required for data engineering Python. So as additional stuff we are giving core Python so that which is more than necessary in the data engineering. Okay, those you can go through it. Yeah, I understand. Will you be explaining us because I'm from a non-IT background? Yeah, you will. You will explain. Yeah, I will take uh, three days of Python basics, madam. Okay. Okay. As a part of course. So okay. more than that, we are giving as a videos. Okay. So if you want to go deep dive into some Python as a basic, basic level per guy, for that we are giving videos for your uh, like extra reference. Okay. Yeah. So what are necessary for concept for Python? So Python is huge ocean, and what is necessary for data? You know, we will teach it basics. Okay. Okay, okay. So more than that, we are giving it for your practice for what that's it. Yeah, sure. Got it. So from day one, if you if you from day one, if you go through that, when it is that basic, you will you will be so get some hands on. So for that part, we are giving those videos, okay? When I get into the Python concept for the three days class, you have that hands on, you have that some basic idea for non IT guys only, we done some videos. So I could not teach what is Python, why why it is evaluated to the market, these things, right? This kind of basic structure, okay? Well, thanks, sir. Like it, sir. Fine. Any more doubts, sir, before we wind up? Hello? No. Hello? No, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, then, sir. Then let's wind up this session. So hope I like you will get this recording. If you want to go through the recording, you can go through the demo recording as well. Okay. So in the next session, we'll be going into deep diving into your as I said your what is Azure, what is cloud, these things. Okay, services, these things. Okay. Apart from that, you will have your assignments. Who are interested, they can do. Every day I will be giving assignments. On the concept, what we thought for your application purpose. Okay, these things are okay. Then. Uh, yeah. So where will where we can find the recording once you? Um, so you will yeah. be getting it every day, man. Google Drive. Your okay. coordinators who are coordinators contact with your coordinators for recordings. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Fine, sir. Then have a nice day. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Okay.
Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your thanks for your time. Thank you, sir.